facts about Anthony and Lango. Just like the youngsters Marcus Rashford and Mason Greenwood, it did not take too long for Anthony Elanga to win the hearts of his fellow United fans. With his feisty pace, elegant technique and creative dribbling, the young Red Devil has already established himself as a solid winger, but he still has a lot of room to grow. As he's making his way towards becoming Manchester United's next big star, we bring you a list of facts you need to know about Anthony Elanga. Upbringing Anthony David Jr. Elanga was born on the 27th of April 2002 in Hilja, located in the southwestern district of Malmö in Sweden. He was the youngest child and only son of his mother, Daniela Elanga, and his father, Joseph Elanga. Elanga grew up in a public housing estate in Hilja alongside his sisters Sandra and Chanel. When he was four, their family moved to the beautiful city of Boros, located in the southwestern part of Sweden football is in his blood. Unlike many footballers who grow into football, Ilanga was lucky enough to be born into it. Not only was his father a professional footballer, but his mother was also a football player in her youth. His father, Joseph Ilanga, was known as a fearless defender during his time as a professional footballer. He played for the Cameroonian national team and was a part of the unshakable Lions squad in the 1998 World Cup. Joseph had played alongside Cameroonian legends Rigobert Song and Samuel Eto'o. At club level, he spent the majority of his career playing for Malmo in Sweden, but had also spent a few years in Greece and Denmark. Anthony's mother, Daniela Elanga, on the other hand, used to play amateur football for the local women's team in Cameroon when she was young, but did not continue to play football. Since he was a child, Elanga was determined to follow in his parents' footsteps and kept the football lineage alive in his family. He started playing football at a ridiculously young age. While babies aged four barely have an idea of what's going on around them, Ilanga had not only decided what he wanted to do in life, but felt like he was all ready to start his journey. After moving to Boras, which is known for being a football-friendly city, Ilanga's parents began searching for an academy for their little son. He finally passed the trials and started laying his foundations at IF Elfsborg. During this time, Elanga's father was transferred to Bronbu in Denmark from Malmö, and he had to move there. However, to avoid disrupting Elanga's progress, his father made the sacrifice of leaving his family in Sweden and moving to Bronbu by himself. He played at his father's club for a brief period. After Joseph's retirement in 2013, Daniela made the decision of relocating to the UK as she wanted a new life there. By this time, Anthony had just left Elfsborg and started playing for Malmo FF's academy, the team where his father spent the majority of his career at. However, Anthony's time at Malmo was cut short as he had to leave Sweden with his family to settle in the UK. Unlike most Cameroonian immigrants who settle in London, Daniela and her family decided to establish their home in the small town of Hyde in Tameside, located in the Greater Manchester area. Hyde United ditched Alanga while Hattersley founded Gem. After moving to Hyde, it was time for the 11-year-old Swede to find a football academy to continue chasing his dream. Anthony and his mother made plans to attend a training session and get him registered for Hyde United's academy. However, upon turning up to the scheduled training session, Anthony and his mother found out that all Hyde United players and staff members were asked to skip the training and stay indoors, as it was an extremely cold and freezing day. The young boy found another academy team training on the nearby pitch called Hattersley. Their coach, Ian Forder, Upon learning about the little footballer's story, offered Anthony to put on his boots and play for 10 minutes with the Hattersley players instead of going back home. Those 10 minutes were enough for the Swede attacker to catch the attention of everyone present. He effortlessly glided past defenders like it was nothing, leaving everyone with a dropped jaw. Right after the game, Forder offered Elanga to join his academy and did not let them leave until all registration forms were properly filled. The coach was further amazed upon finding out about the little boy's age. With Hattersley, Anthony Ilanga's journey to the top started. Ilanga almost joined Manchester City. It might seem very wrong to imagine Anthony Ilanga wearing the sky blue jersey, but in reality, he was extremely close to signing the contract with Manchester City. Immediately after joining Hattersley, Ilanga started putting in exceptional performances day in and day out. In just 12 games, the young star had not only scored 17 goals, but also picked up 27 assists. 
to single-handedly help the former mid-table team to finish in second place in the kids' league. With such talents, it was certain that Elanga wasn't going to stay in the Hattersley Academy for long. Soon enough, the young winger was on the wish list of Manchester City's academy. The contract was already prepared and was only left to be reviewed and signed by the player and his mum. That was when Manchester United decided to poke their nose into the situation. A Man United scout named Martin Coyne, who was also a friend of Anthony's father, was so impressed by Elanga's talent that he wasted no time in attempting to hijack the player from their derby rivals. He immediately contacted United's chief scouts and invited Elanga to a test training. Anthony passed the trials with flying colours, and just a week and a half later, he signed a contract with Manchester United, leaving the city scouts behind in shame. According to Elanga, his decision to join United was greatly influenced by his mother, who advised her son to never say no to Manchester United. He won the Jimmy Murphy Trophy. Elanga already had massive potential before joining Manchester United, and he completely lived up to those expectations of the academy staff and coaches. His first great sign of progression was at an international tournament held in Mallorca where he grabbed the Player of the Tournament award in a competition where football's greatest teams, Real Madrid and Barcelona, had also participated. Elanga was highly motivated to improve and his hunger for improvement and hard work helped him get considerably better over time. He won the Jimmy Murphy Young Player of the Year award in 2020, which is an honour awarded to the best player in Manchester United's youth system and had previously been won by several Man United legends such as Ryan Giggs, Paul Scholes and Mark Hughes. First team debut and first goal With Alanga's magnificent performances for the youth team, he earned himself a senior team contract. This was not delayed as Ole Gunnar Solskjaer did not want to risk losing such a talented young lad on a free transfer. The 18-year-old Swede finally made his debut before the start of the 2020-21 season in a pre-season friendly against Aston Villa. He wasn't a regular player on the team yet, which made it hard for him to get on the score sheet. He scored his first senior goal for Manchester United on the final day of the league season against Wolverhampton Wanderers. It was only his second start for Manchester United, and it took him only 13 minutes to break Wolves' defence. He could have played for Cameroon or England. Something that is extremely common among immigrant professionals is that they get to choose which team they want to represent at the international level. Elanga's case wasn't any different. He'd been living in England since he was 11, which made him eligible to play for the Three Lions. He was also eligible to play for the Cameroon national team, as both of his parents were born there. However, unlike most others who chose to play for the stronger side, Elanga chose to play for the nation that he was most emotionally attached to. He opted to represent Sweden as being born and spending the majority of his childhood there meant that the country was closer to his heart than the others. He represented Sweden at the under-17, under-19 and under-21 levels before finally earning a debut for the senior team against the Czech Republic at a World Cup qualifiers game. His first goal for the national team came just four games later against Norway in the UEFA Nations League. His idol being a product of the Manchester United Academy and a Swedish international, you would normally expect Elanga's footballing idol to either be a Man United legend or a Swedish national team legend. However, instead of idolising Cristiano Ronaldo or Zlatan Ibrahimovic, the young lad had always been a massive fan of French international and former Arsenal legend Thierry Henry. In fact, Elanga started learning football by mimicking Henry's playing style when he was only five years old. Well educated. Unlike most of you who are still trying to figure out what you really want to do in life, Ilang had set his goal to become a professional footballer when he was four. He did put the majority of his focus into football, but that didn't stop his parents from making him attend school. Anthony made it through the entire Swedish school system. Before moving to Manchester, Ilang's mother made him and his sisters learn English as the family only spoke French and Swedish, and knowing English was a necessity for moving to England. After moving, Elanga attended Hyde High School before switching to another secondary school that was closer to Manchester United's Carrington training ground. Jim Freak Apart from being a beast on the football pitch, Elanga is also a beast at the gym. We have already mentioned how hard a worker he is, but the weights he lifts at the gym is a clear demonstration of this statement. Religion Elanga was brought up as a Catholic and is currently a practicing Christian. In fact, he is known to say his prayers every single day, first thing in the morning, as a part of a family tradition. 
Antonia Langer's Instagram bio also reads the words, trust in God. We've reached the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more football related content. For more interesting football videos, click the video appearing on the screen now. I will see you in the next one.